Oh, g'day folks, how you going? It's uh, Josh here and Mike, Friday 150 out of here. Josh, you're taking me on a camping trip this time, hey? Yep. How about that, eh? Hey boys, how we going? So, hey? Right, I cut that. Hey boys, how are we going? We've got the the best rig on the channel today. We're going camping with Nickham. We just pulled up to camp. Um, it was a bit wet and got a little bit stuck there until we drive. We, we try not to tear up the grass here because um, it's a nice friendly caravan park. But Mate, can you explain what these marks are on their lawn, on this lawn here, these stripes? Do you know much about the stripes, mate? Oh, the, the dirt's just showing a bit there, and I was, it, was, it was slipping a bit on the back right wheel. Just put it in four low, and she crawled straight up. No slippage. Just get the gear out now. This iTech World battery is at 100%. Just pulled up to camp. Fridge is working a treat, zero degrees. Got the swags. And, um, yeah. BT50, she did well to get here. We only used like less than a half a quarter. So like, yeah. Got all the tread boxes. Load it up, mate. Got all the gear. We'll set you we'll set it up and we'll give you as a walk around, eh? So uh Keep we up. Yep. We've rocked up in the BT50. We've got driven got from the already set up, mate. I'm ready oh, for bed. look at me. You know, I'm still mucking around here, aren't I? I'm ready for old mate here to cook me some dinner. Tell you what, eh? And a couple of lollies and a beer. Yep. Might even go down for a walk to the have a check out the camp kitchen and the toilets. Yep, and of course Queen Mary Falls tomorrow morning. We're, we're doing the basic camping this time, aren't we, Josh? Yep. Except we've got no, stretch beds. No power station. You know, back to basics top. here. Yep. Got and the uh, Kmart butane burner with a couple little gas canisters and then frying pan and that's it. I do have a 12 volt kettle though, I brought that. Do you? But that's not too flat, let's just pour her up. And we'll uh, probably use the camp kitchen down there to do a bit of dishes maybe. Yep, we can do that. Uh, there is a tap there I don't know, just noticed, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I don't know, just enjoy the... Here we go cook the steak on the fire. Oh, we're just about quickly actually, couldn't we? Yep, we could do that. You wanted to have a go at that? Yeah. And uh, we're just going to enjoy each other's company, I suppose. Uh, doing the father-son thing, mate. Tell you what. Yeah, he was going to bring us one. Josh, mate, uh, just just want to while we've got the, the canopy up, mate. What, just show us the back of your um, BT50, eh? What do you got going in the back here? You got four Max trucks. Four Max trucks, yeah. Right there. Got clamped on. Yeah. Fridge going. It's just a work rig, so we just got the King's fridge. Been running 24-7 for about 18 months. Got a couple uh, June lights, you see, orange and white. Yeah. And we've got, got the King's little toy box here. Yeah. Now Josh, we said to the folks at home, we're, we're, we're doing some pretty simple camping, mate. Yeah. The basics. But you know, we've got some flash gear here. We've got, we got some lights. This is basic. We've got the fridge. Compared That's, to caravan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we just got a, 25 amp charger, iTech World uh, 120 amp battery, lithium one, yep, and then just a little in yourself. the monitor here. Haven't put that away, um, on the wall yet either, but I'm just charging that my drone batteries there too. 
chippies for later. Yep. And then the Kami on the other side. Uh, we just got the drawer with a bit of Makita gear in there, a couple tools, uh, lights, etc. Then we got this is our little butane burner we're going to use. Yeah, we're rocking. She's we a are beauty. rocking, yeah. Wait, what, and what are you putting that on top of? What are those? Oh, look at those boxes, man. Oh, right here, just one second. We got brand new. Oh, look, the whole thing comes out. Oh, you just got to give us a sec because she's a bit stuck there, oh. but. Fancy, mate. We got the compressor, but we got some brand new coming around this side. There's a sticker here. Brand new Tread GT storage boxes. Now this one is the the bigger one, the 50, 65 litre. What have we got in there, Josh? And then we got the 25 litre here. And in this box, we'll show you soon. But we just got all our camping gear. We got like bowls, plates. It's all in one in one box. And then in the smaller box here. We just got all of our dry food and stuff like that. So it all keeps it organised, you just pull one box out and then when you when you finish for the day you just put the box straight back in there and then you don't have to worry about anything else. You got an awning. Oh no, it's not an awning. We've got a shower tent. It's a shower tent. And I've got another light here too. Oh, look at you go mate. You're all organised. But the awning is a something I do need to get. It's all right. We're out here just to show you that you can have fun, enjoy each other's company, and in this case, you know, me and Josh, without having all the fancy gear. And we, and what we, you got home from work pretty much, we got str straight into it, put a few things in the car, and, and uh, here we are. And we're just gonna en enjoy the night, camping in the swags. None of the flash stuff. It's just gonna be a, a good night, isn't it? Yep. And that's all you need, you just need, I mean, the, you know, you just need a basic cooker, cook up some steak, have a beer or two, and uh, the firewood's on the way. Mate. Whoa, -ho, the firewood's coming. Josh, go with that fire. Good job, mate. Good fire? That's an awesome fire. Some beer in here somewhere. There we go. Oh, Josh, you got any, um, here you go. Have you got any, uh, stubby holders? Coolers for that? Uh, I got, I'm a stripper. I work with strippers. 30th of Dan Shard. 
What? <laughs> Look how dinged up this can is. Holy. <laughs> well, can't blame anyone but you. Yeah, I've got to find. I've got some wine here I bought, so I've just got to find some wine. There he is, he's all the way over here. Here you go. Oh, look at that. I work with strippers. Oh. <laughs> That's obviously an electrician type of thing, is it? Yep. Cool, cheers, mate. Cheers. Whoa, look at that one go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's always that one. So what these tread boxes are for? What? Go. That's what these tread boxes are, are good for, aren't they? They're meant to put your cup in the cup holder. There you go. Look at that. Gotta take the lid off. And then the wine bowl can go in the other one. That's where it's gonna go, don't you worry. What have I got here? I've got some... It's called okay. Eagle Hort Shiraz Cabernet. I like to just try a bit of red wine every now and again. Just something different. Into my coffee cup. There you go. That's how you get rid of a bottle of wine in one night because half it's gone in one cup. How's that, eh? Don't worry, Josh. I won't be drinking it all tonight. Cheers, everyone. Famous last words. Yeah, I'll let you know how I go. <laughs> cool. Oh, I just farted. How good's a cold frothy? Well, here we are, folks. We've got the fire going. We need some we're, on the dog. we're cooking some uh, no, no, that's enough for our steak. Trust me. So we've got the uh, steak cooking on the fire. Me and Josh here. Look at this. The uh, rain seems to have died down a bit, so that's that's good, isn't it? We've got the swags up, and uh, Josh has seasoned the, uh, the steak. We're a bit. Uh, we just bought the plastic tongs, so <laughs> we'll see how we go with that. But we're, we're pretty much organised, aren't we? Bit of wind around, the rain seems to... Well, we well, won't say it too early because I can see something over there. Hopefully the wind's blowing that way so it's not coming towards us. Josh is just doing some seasoning here. Take a look at this, eh? The wind's just come up as we put the steak on, Josh. <laughs> yep. Right. Steak going. There's a salad ready to go soon. Swags are up. Let's go. Sizzle steaks. This is what you call just camping, isn't it, Josh? Yep. What are uh, utes are for, eh? They're pretty good with a tray on the back. Use them as a table. I knew that, that's why we didn't pack a table. Just going the old basic tonight. So we've got the uh, pasta salad. Josh likes pasta shallot salad. <laughs> and just a bit of lettuce and that, and a couple of steaks or steak each. So that's how, how easy it is and simple, folks. Just to, uh, like I said before, don't tell Joshua. This is just, a part of that bonding time just chilling out with your with your son in this case just a bit of family time and uh you know it feels it felt a bit weird i felt like i was naked i suppose in a sense i've jumped into a car that's not my own not my prado i've got no keys on me not even house keys and uh i'm just all in the hands of joshua <laughs> but i gotta say it's uh it's been fun so far, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to sleeping in the swag tonight. Even though it's uh, chances of showers and rain, and as we speak, <laughs> there's another bit of a sprinkle at the moment. But hey, we're still having fun, and that's the main thing, and we're out of here at Queen Mary Falls.
They're right, I suppose. Oh no, they're perfect. Nothing wrong with that, Josh. Awesome job, mate. How's that one going? I like mine nice and pink like that. Are they both pink or? Oh, <laughs> that's perfect. What you need now is your special um, barbecue sauce that we had to buy in Kalani. That is perfect. Oh, I can't wait to get into that, mate. Awesome. Now talking about fire pits, I just want to I want to give a plug for a dashi because this is my old fire pit. It's actually got a crack in the in it down here. Small. So it's just out of warranty. Put a, put a claim in for it. Well, I rang them first, put a claim in, told them what had happened. Anyway, I took some photos, put it on their. Um, submission form online and you know what they honored the claim and they sent me a brand new one it's it's at home now I'm saving it for my trip um, to WA but isn't that that is just awesome service so I just want to say thank you very much um, for doing that and uh, highly recommend them just from from their service I think it's great we bought it from tent world but the actual Darcy company, man. All right, and we got the swag. Oh, I got the swag too. Hey, Josh. Oh, what else do you do when you're camping with your son is watch another four drive YouTube channel. Hey. Check this out. How are you, mate? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Can't, mm. sun, can't say the sun's shining, but had to sleep, right? Swag's dry, that's it. That's it, mate. Josh, it's not cunning.
Coffee's alright, I thought I'd try a, a Woolies brand, but um, I don't have any for the, the proper stuff for the AeroPress, so I thought I'd try a Woolies brand, but you, I think you've got to buy the the correct coffee for the AeroPress. It's always when you sit down, hey, the sun, uh, the wind goes where you sit. Been a bit early, hey, with those two big pieces of wood, do you think? This side here is all right. So we've got the mushies cooking up, they're looking good. A bit of bacon, and we'll come over to the fire. Bits of bacon, they're popping up real nice. They've got, got, got a bit of a bulge in them, the air. Next up, we'll cook a couple eggs, and we'll get this uh, kick-ass jaffle iron out, plug her into the battery, into the iTech world, and then uh, <laughs> we'll be talking. Right, eh? So we're rolling. So, oh, she's a bit on there. And the eggs, do you reckon Michael will eat the two? I'm going to eat two, I reckon. I want an egg sandwich. So, oops, we'll tilt you around. Look at the eggs, mate. Ooh. What do you reckon? Do you want to go check that bacon? Sure, mate. See how she's going? Sure. I reckon she's nearly ready. Look at that. Look at the colours on them. I reckon they're ready, eh? Oaks. Uh, today, well, it was actually not a bad night. Got a bit, uh, got a bit chilly overnight. Well, this is Queen Mary Falls, and uh, we're going to go and take a look at that this morning. Go for a bit of a walk down there. And uh, if you're looking for a, just a nice, quiet camp place uh, to go, this is this is the spot so they do have uh, caravan sites I'll quickly run through all that with you soon but they've got caravan sites or with power if you need to bring your caravan they've got camping sites like this uh, for this um, just uh, the ground's a little bit wet on, on our occasion but it hasn't uh, it hasn't uh, ruined anything and uh, yeah so oh sorry yeah I changed it mate I was trying to save your power mate I just put it up to two degrees so, uh, so the plan today, we're going to go get some brekkie, go for a walk to Queen Mary Falls, fly the, the drone around, and then uh, Josh, he's going to take me down the 14 river crossings on our way home, so we'll show you that as well, see how much water's been going through there. Look at this singer, mate. Mushies, egg, melted cheese, smoky barbecue sauce, bacon, and bread, and butter. Superb. Perfect. Look at that. Even the cheese is stringing. Good job, Josh. Nice job, mate. Thanks for cooking brekkie. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Keep walking with this. 
Get out from the sock. This is A. We're just heading to the uh, camp. They've got a camp kitchen here, which makes it handy. Might as well use it, especially when it's in this weather. So, um, this is just the last part of our pack up. And we'll pop them in our tread boxes. microwave, toaster, and for those winter months you've got a nice fireplace, a couple of tables and chairs, big barbecue. Mate, I think I need to update my uh, my car cutlery, what do you reckon? Yep. The caravan's had all the treatment, all the new stuff, so uh, I think it's time. These are pretty old, aren't they Josh? We've had these since before Cape York time, wasn't it? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I was just washing it and Bangs, what happens? Right, so on the front of the rig, a lot of you have been asking for a bit of a rig run down on the BT, so um, we'll give you a, we'll give you just a quick little walk around of the front of it here. So we've got the ARB bull bar, got a couple light force spotties, I think it's just the king's gone out of winch, got a steady light bar, uh, a little GME whip, I think it's a yeah, 2.1 dB, just a little stubby, uh, we got LED headlights in there, and then we got underneath here, we got new lower control arms, they just got in place, we got Dobinson's three inch strap and we got the superior bash plate and a ARB recovery point and then this is this is real good too when you're doing winching but hardly ever need to use it because you know to be 15 don't get stuck but on to the next one we got the Toyo RTs uh, I got these in a 285 70 17 and they have a positive 20 offset rim and um, I think it's a 7 by 8 17 by 8 sorry and then in the back we just got some EFS leaf springs and some Bilstein shocks so yeah, that kind of gives you a little bit of a rundown of the BT um, You'll see it in lots of upcoming videos, so keep your eye out. We'll do a proper rig rundown on this in another video, so stay tuned. Like and subscribe, and um, make sure to turn the bell on so you know. What do you got, mate? Oh, then we got some treads. Oh, well, not treads, but these tread boxes. Tread GT storage boxes. So these have been absolutely awesome. I've got everything, all our stuff in here that we need, it's just going to go on the back of your canopy and you can open it up from any angle what look do you at got, that, mate? look how neat you can make it even for someone like me <whistles> makes me look good doesn't it and then they got the waterproof water, waterproof seal around the whole way Yep. and then um, you got the strap holes just here so you put your strap through and you strap it to your tray if you want to do that hey look, and if you got, tell them about this, if you've got a, um, a Weber you've got some special things for the, to click into the Weber if you've got a Weber, each feet will sit on these four spots. Yep. And you've got a real life 400mm ruler. And um, a bottle opener. If you're an alcoholic like Michael, hey, you got Easy a going. Uh, bottle opener. So, right. Put that back on there. And then, um, go it goes into your. There uh, you go, mate. Yeah. Beauty. Where are you going to put that little bad boy? Up there? No, I was going to sit it straight up here. Alright, thanks mate. Where's the small one going? Oh, just next to it there. <clears throat> there we go. Oh look, it's in there too. A little, a little one. Yeah. Don't think, well, we, we, just, we haven't got much in that one. We're using that for our... Mate, no, I just... Just I, a bit of food. I'm not fancy, mate. 
<laughs> and look, mate, tell us about our camping setup this time. It's pretty basic. We've got a little bit, but we don't have as much as Prado. No, but that was the idea. We deliberately came out. Josh took me camping. I came in the all BT. I got, all I got is a battery and a fridge. A good battery, mind you, at that. A couple lights. What battery? Oh, tech World battery. Yep, 120 amp hour or... No, it's 120 amp hour battery. No, that one's not. Yeah, it's called a 120X, but it's like a one... It's a bit less anyway, that's all right. I've done videos on that before. But yeah, anyway, you got a lithium battery. It's going pretty good. Boiled the kettle, run your fridge, did all the lights last night, charged up my... Um, Charge up my drone. Sweet. <clears throat> Alright, what's next mate? Is anyone anyone out there? Uh, is there anyone out there? Can make me a rear a rear section for the for the tray here because um the standard Mazda, they're getting a bit worse for wear and it's uh a bit rusty on the little on the galley and uh, the weld snapped up there so any fabricators out there are good. You might know someone. Be able to hook us up with a new rear target. And I'll um, just shorten the tray a little bit as well. So let us know. Get the grinder out you reckon? Yeah. Just to make it in line with the tow bar I reckon. Folks, we're up here, Queen Mary Falls. What an enormous bit of water coming down the, the falls there. Look, if you haven't been up here, definitely worth a trip up. Um, we're from Toowoomba, so it's about an hour and a half drive from Toowoomba. Go through Kalani and then up to Queen Mary Falls. And uh, you can stay up there, as you know. Um, yeah, so if you're from Brisbane, I think it's about, might be two hours from Brisbane. Uh, it's definitely, if not, if anything, it's definitely worth a day trip up here to have a look. They've got a cafe there, which we'll show you that a bit later, and um, just an awesome little spot to get away. You like a bit of a waterfall, mate? I reckon it's cooler here too, like, it got a bit cold last night. You can feel the water spraying down off you? Yeah.
Now, let me say, <laughs> let me say, if you haven't been to Queen Mary Falls, you're crazy, all right? You need to get yourself out here while the water's like this. It is absolutely magnificent. I love seeing waterfalls like this, and this is the place to be. As I said, it's not far, it's in your own backyard, and uh, if nothing else, you've had a hard week at work, it's so relaxing to come out here and just enjoy, enjoy the camping and enjoy this magnificent waterfall. So uh, Josh and I are having an absolute glorious time here to, uh, this weekend, and uh, I've got to say, it's absolutely been a perfect weekend so far, it's just spending some time with Josh, it's so relaxing, and uh, we're having a ball. Any problem coming back this way? I forgot about this. There's about a million steps. <laughs> so I suppose it goes down just to come up. But hey, we're having a good time. Well, this is Alan. How are you, mate? Good, thank you. It's good How to meet you. you. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Yes. Look, this is a um, absolute stunning place. I'd, Gum yeah. trees and tranquility. That's it. Yep, that sounds about right, mate. Yeah. To do so, it. Yeah. Fostering a father and a son you know, relationship. Yeah, yeah. Even as I do get older, yeah. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, Josh is 19, so uh, I'm. You know, we've been here the night, and we've just absolutely had a great time. The um, yeah, we call ourselves the new custodians of, of the Queen Mary Falls Caravan Park. Yep. Um, although we do own the land, we, we, we believe we're like just, you, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, it must be my red shirt. Uh, um, yeah, as the new custodians of, uh, between my wife and my mother-in-law, Bev, the three of us have, um, joined forces and, and come out here and, nice. um, want to establish a peaceful place for healthy growing, yeah. um, and foster healthy relationships with, with us and our, and our customers and daytime visitors. So. Yeah. Predominantly, you know, I guess our first impression is the Falls Cafe, located, at, located here at the Queen Mary Falls Caravan Park. We operate it six days a week, yep. um, and have a simple menu of burgers, coffees, cakes, hot chips, yep. sandwiches, yep. that sort of thing. So, the coffee's good, because um, I've had a coffee here before. <laughs> the coffee is good, we get a lot of recommendations on our coffee, um, and I think that comes from a, from, from a good roaster, a well-maintained machine, and some good baristas on site. Up behind the cafe, we've got a huge campground with um, caravans, powered and unpowered caravans. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, but, um, just to, to, to my left, I guess, is the unpowered camping area up on the hill, up on the ridge. Yep. A lot of people just love it up there. We have powered camping sites and, and powered and watered caravan sites as well. We've got another selection of cabins. So we have basic studio cabins for families. They have a double bed and a triple bunk in them, yep. kitchenette, and they use the amenities of the caravan park as a whole. Yep. Little country cabin, they're an ensuite cabin with a queen bed and um, a fold down sofa bed in the in the lounge room so it can be made up and then folded up during the day still made up and then make use of the day use area in the cabin and then unfold it right. So do they have showers and toilets in those ones? They, they're they ensuite, they okay, have a so shower and toilet. Self -contained, yep, so they? fully yeah. self-contained. A secluded cabin which is over on the west east bank over oh, on, yeah. on its own. It, it's secluded, it's a spa bath cabin. Oh. This is the place to come. Yeah, and if no TV, to... no Wi-Fi. We yep. don't have TV or Wi-Fi. Yep. Um, so um, I'm happy to, I'm happy to give you a plug because you, you know you're you're a good bloke. You're a genuine bloke, and um, you've got some plans for the place, and you're keen to get this place, you know, nice. And um, I think you deserve the support. Thank you. Yes. So. Yeah, we've got some plans for the place. We've, in the middle of doing some upgrades, the um, the caravan sites. We've just installed a whole heap of sandstone blocks to re-level um, the pads and just create a bit of an atmosphere. Um, we have bookings online, so we have an online booking platform at Queen Mary Falls Caravan Park. Yep. Um, 
www.ipsos.com.au is, is the website address. Mate, I'll, I'll better let you go because you're semi in the kitchen, I think. That's where I caught you. Semi in the kitchen, yeah. We're flipping burgers, washing dishes nice, and, um, and and making coffee. So. All right, well, I'm going to get in there and have a have, have a have one of these wonderful coffees. I'll... Yes, and don't forget the cold drip coffee. We've got the Yammer oh. cold drip coffee. Serious? Um, oh, this is the place to be. <laughs> it is the place to be, yeah. Wow. Quite unique for being out here, but um, definitely. I sampled it a few months ago in Brisbane and I was sold. Yeah. So. <laughs> no nice, worries. mate. All right, I'll let you get back to it and Cheers. we'll go get our coffee. Thanks, All mate. Right. Make Thanks, sure you Josh. get up here to Queen Mary Falls. Queen Mary Falls, yep, that's this exactly is the place right. to be, I tell you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you. BT50, man. Where are we headed? What a lunch that was, mate. Lucky we got half a burger, man. It was so nice, and all those chips, I tell ya. Yep, was, what do you reckon? Big chips, yep. burger. Yep. So thanks, Alan and the team. Awesome job. All right, where are you going? River crossings. Yep. Sounds good to me. About 20 bucks to feed two people, so pretty good deal, I reckon. Yeah. Well folks, we're just about to do the 14 river crossings uh, where it crosses the Condamine River 14 times. Now I have done it from the Kalani side and we're now doing it from uh, before, but we're now doing it from the Queen Mary Falls side. This is for Penny. Hey Penny, how are you? You know me, I'm just taking my time, just put me drone away. zoom in on this or not but see there she's got a bit of a flow to her um, she looks a bit deep box going into the, the check but should be in for a good day tracks a bit of bit of wet and a bit of muddy now this is the main road so don't be stupid on it and um, be mindful because there's lots of other users that will use this road and for their fun and day trips and 
also people live on this road so they need to get in and out so Well folks, we're just in Kalani. We're going to leave it there. So uh, we hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed doing it. So um, if you have a spare weekend or a couple of days or whatever it is, or just a night, head yourselves out to Queen Mary Falls. Uh, the, the very welcoming, awesome place to camp and uh, you can do all the stuff that we've done around the place. And uh, the 14 river crossings, that was pretty good, wasn't it, Josh? Yep. What do you think? You had, had a ball? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, what do you give the, you know, the night away out of 10, mate? Hopefully it's a 10. 8 or 9 out of 10. Oh, what? <laughs> if there was, wasn't rain, then it would have been nearly, nearly a 10. Oh. Well, look, I got to do, enjoy your company. I had a great time with you, Josh. That was awesome. You got to take me out camping. I sat back and relaxed. And uh, as I'm the passenger, I might just uh, get myself a, a beer, maybe enjoy that on the way back so yeah we're heading back and uh guys we'll uh we'll see you in the next one i'll leave all the details in the description about uh, how to contact these guys at queen mary falls and uh, just a bit of information that is about the place but like i said if you haven't been there make sure you get there all right catch you guys later eh, on the next one cheers
Thank you.